I am happy to see you again. It's been a while since you were here. It has. Too long. Yeah. But I have, I've seen you since I was last here. Yes. In a very embarrassing moment for myself, which was four years ago. <laughs> we were both at a bar that was not crowded at all. Sitting about this close, you were with Portia. I was with a girlfriend. And you were waving at me. And I chose to ignore it because I could not accept a world that you'd be waving at me. <laughs> So I just didn't wave back, thinking I'm sure there's someone else, surely, you're waving at. And then you're waving again, pretty close. And I was like, mm, not for me. <laughs> Honestly, I'm like, why would you know me? Like, I, I, I actually was like, I don't want you to have to, <laughs> to chat here. And, and then finally, I get a text from a friend, Dan Bukatinsky, who's like, Ellen says she's waving at you, and you're just ignoring her. <laughs> and it was really tough and embarrassing, because there was no one else in the restaurant. And yeah. Thank you for waving. <laughs> Hello. So, like, obviously, if how would you think it was someone else I was waving to if no one else was there? So I hadn't really looked behind me. I was just kind of like, oh, I'm, you know, you know, so many people. Like, I'm sure it's not right. me. And it's just hard when someone's waving this close to you and looking yeah. eye contact. Yeah. It's embarrassing when you wave back to someone who isn't waving. They are waving behind you. But, Which has happened so many times. Right, and, and it does happen. But it's more embarrassing to be waving at someone two feet away and they don't wave back. <laughs> And I, I accept that feedback. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that. But I'm so glad you're here for 12 days because you love trees. You love the holidays. So this must feel real good to you. Feels so good. I am a person a lot of people don't like, but I have my tree up. I've had it up for three weeks. Two trees. I have, see, people are upset. I have a tree that I call my hero tree in the living room, and then right. I have a bedroom tree. Ah. And I urge everyone to get a bedroom tree for yourself. <laughs> No, it, has, has anyone had a bedroom tree? No. Oh, a look at that. It's a smattering it, of hands. Look at that. People have bedroom trees. You're not the only one. It is so comforting. Uh -huh. This life is so hard. Can't we gaze upon some beautiful lights in our bedroom? Yeah. Yes. It's a beautiful thing to go to sleep with twinkling lights like that. Exactly. And you can put it on a timer so it, it, it goes off after you go to sleep. Yes. I am getting a third tree, a real tree, after Thanksgiving because oh, I'm not an animal. Not, those are not... <laughs> Real. Those are, it's hard to get a real tree October 1st. I see. <laughs> it's, I don't know, it seems like it's happening earlier and earlier. I, I think people will, but so, and then you get a real tree when? Uh, right after Thanksgiving, the way God intended. <laughs> 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 and then I hang uh, these like kind of scented things in them to try to trick your brain into not thinking it's when it's not a real tree, so you kind of wafts. I see. It's a strong scent. The smell makes me a little sick. Um, well, so that, that's not great. It but. doesn't sound good. No, 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 it doesn't. Hey, you posted some, uh, some, uh, a, a text to your husband that uh, is hilarious. You were mad at him. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think a lot of people can relate to this, though. So do you want to explain it? Yes, these are on my children. You know when your kid's eyes are fading and you're so ready to be done with the day and they're in bed and you can't possibly have them wake up. And then there's my husband's key right in the door, home from work. So I sent him, I think, some very loving texts, given what was happening. Please come in quiet. Yeah. They are literally seconds away from falling asleep. No, this is a typo. Truett Sedandas. <laughs> um, <laughs> Truly seconds! OK. Yeah. Stay downstairs, please. They are so tired. You are too loud. <laughs> Go in back. Why are you peeing under us? <laughs> We have a beautiful marriage. Yeah. So the, this was like just rapid These were fire. Fired off like just. Right. I've never felt more rage. But, but do you think he was receiving them? Maybe he didn't see them. I don't think he saw those. <laughs> I think those came in five seconds. I'll just boom, 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 boom. Yeah. And and did they but wake up? But to have the nerve, Ellen, to pee in the bathroom underneath us. He must pee loudly. <laughs> he does. <laughs> what kind of monster would do that? Yeah. Well, that's, the, you know, maybe he's learned his lesson now. I, I would hope. I would hope. I would hope. Well, your, your, your husband on television is, uh, is, is people's sexiest man alive. That's your husband on television. Um, I, I personally agree with this. I think he is, I, I've known him for a long time. He is absolutely charming, funny, smart, Everything you want. Absolutely. Yeah. I, it's a I perfect love him. choice. I love him. Yes. And that must feel good to you to be... Uh... It does. You know, I take some amount of credit for it. Um, <laughs> because... No, I do. Because, you know, behind every sexiest man alive, there's a woman who plays his wife on television. And... <laughs> 
I feel like, you know, I don't know if you know this, I was named in People <laughs> Magazine's most beautiful issue. There's a very small article, <laughs> there it is, very small photo, a beauty at any age. And I was named most beautiful 40 year old in the world. <laughs> in the world, well, thank you, thank you. This, this, no, that. <laughs> It, the thing is, they don't call it most beautiful 40-year-old in the world because they don't want to hurt other 40-year-olds' feelings, but the Uggs got to know I represent them. Yeah. yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. All right, well, good luck, because uh, when you're 41, we're hoping that, that that continues. I would like to get a campaign going if anyone would feel so generous as to tweet at people or if you have any contacts in that industry. All right, more with Casey after this. <laughs> All right, that's Casey Wilson in The Shrink Next Door. Um, and tell everybody, what, it's a true story, but tell everybody about this. It's a true story based on a podcast called The Shrink Next Door, where a, a therapist kind of takes advantage of his patient, played by Will Ferrell, uh, over 30 years' time, and I play Paul Rudd's wife, um, who's the therapist, and it kind of, he kind of takes advantage of this patient, and, and actually the therapist moves into the patient's home in the Hamptons, and that's the true story, which is unusual, I think. Not really the, the thing you're supposed to do, is no. move in with the therapist. And no. he's kind of like a cult leader, and uh, would you fall for something like that? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I think I will probably be in a cult soon of some sort, and I, I do, I told my dad, you will be on TV at some point begging me to come back. <laughs> For sure. Or I do think I have what it takes to be a cult leader. All right. Um, and you have a podcast, and it's all about the Real Housewives, like yes. all the franchises. That's right. Every one of them. Yep. And then you have someone from the, um, who's on? Well, Lisa Rinna actually is in the first episode of The Shrink Next Door. And so uh, she hasn't done our podcast, I wish, but she it was so thrilling to see the call sheet with my dream cast, which is. Will Ferrell, Paul Rudd, Casey Wilson, Lisa Rinna. Uh -huh. And those, that's, a, that's a dream team. Yeah. You have to admit. For, yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. Um, hey, we want to help you with your campaign uh, for the, when you get to be 41, you will still be the most beautiful woman in the world. So the this most is, beautiful 41-year-old? Most beautiful 41-year-old in the world. And this is outside uh, our studio right now. We're going to cover my billboard. <laughs> 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 All right. I am astonished. All I've right. never been so touched. All right. You're welcome. New, new, new episodes of The Shrink <laughs> Next Door air Fridays on Apple TV+. Plus. We'll be right back.